Hello guys, welcome to next topic for this series. In this series, we will connect our application to MongoDB. So let's get started. Okay. So for the first time, I would like to connect the application on the same server.js and then we refactor it and move into the its own file because I want to make everything very really simple. When I start moving things around, Sometimes you get a bit confused if you are not familiar with what you are doing. Okay, so what we need now is the mongoose package we installed previously. So const mongoose is equal to require mongoose like that. Now, since we have an instance of mongoose, we can let me comment here and see that connect db okay so now that we have a mongoose as instance of mongoose mongoose dot connect okay dot connect takes in two parameters one is a db url and then additional options Okay, so how can we get the URL of MongoDB? Since I don't want to make it complicated, but creating your local or installing Mon MongoDB and running it, what you are going to do is you are going to create a live database from Mongoose, MongoDB.com. And you can get that connection string and then pass in here. Okay, so without much talking, let's get started. So what we are going to do now is to able to get the connection string of MongoDB. So let's go to mongodb.com. Okay. And if you don't have an account, you can register for free. But I have an account. So what I will do is I have to log in with my credentials. And when I log in, what we are going to do is to create a project and that project, we can get our connection string to connect to our node application. Okay, so now that it has finished loaded, what you're going to do is, I'm going to create a project. So click on project. I have a couple of projects. So I'll click this, um, this icon and it bring me back to new project. Okay, so I will name my project as book keeping app 2 because I have this project being created already so you can name it whatever you want so I prefer to be to do it in this way and then click on create project okay so after that we are going to select the we are going to create our cluster so these are the steps of creating mongodb connection string okay this will be doing anytime you want to connect your application to mongodb so since you are, you are making a practice of mongodb you go for the the free tiers um which has everything you need for application so as soon as maybe if your application grows bigger you can move on to the paid plan which is flexible okay so click on create cluster for free and we are going to select our cloud provider region so you can either select aws google cloud or azure okay so select um aws and then for the region choose a region which is near you right so most of the times you use the default region and create cluster all right so as we see that it says that your cluster is being created and you can take one to three minutes okay so while you are waiting let's try to do other configuration as well so click on database access and you are going to create a user who have access to this database so click on add new database user and here let me call it um done okay and for the password, I'll make it auto-generate and then I'll copy the password, right? So we'll try to save the name and the password 
or copy the clipboard and we make use of that soon. So I have it. My username is done and then my password I've copied. So I'll add user. For not able to forget my password and my username, I will find a way of pasting it here for temporary. And I know that the done is my username. For the meantime, I will need this one in the connection string. Okay, cool. So the next step is click on network access. What this one does is that it's it will be able to allow you to access your database wherever you are and click on add IP address. If you want um, a specific location to access your database, then you'll find a way of doing that. But since you want to access our database wherever you are, click on allow access from anywhere and then confirm. Sorry, click and then confirm. All right, so now that it is pending, um, let's go back to our node application. Okay, we need a connection string, right? So let's see, let's wait for it to finish. I think it won't take my that long. All right. So while we are waiting for it to get uh, created, let's move to the project itself, the current. And as we see, it's still what creating, setting up our configuration behind the scene for us. Okay. So while we are waiting, let's go back to our project and let's continue on the configuration. So this is what we need now, and this is what it is working behind the scene for us. Okay, so here, we are going to pass in a couple of configuration inside this object. So open it, and the first property is what use, find, and modify it, and set to true. What you are doing has nothing to do with Node or Express. It's just a configuration of Mongoose. Okay, and the next is use unified unifield topology, which is true. And then the next one is use create index. That one to set to true. Sorry, set to true. And the last configuration is use new use new URL parser and that one to set true. Okay, since Mongo support promises, we don't know when this MongoDB get connected. So we need to be notified if everything goes on well. So I'm going to make use of .den to attach .den here and then take that function. And what I'm going to do is just console log, right? I'll just say console log um db connected and if uh, if anything goes wrong i have to catch the error here right and then pass in the error i'll pass in the error err and then i will just console log the error right as that so save it so let's go back to mongodb and able to get our connection string for us to be used here. Okay, so let's go back to MongoDB, I think. Wow, it's finished, bravo. So what we need is click on connect. Okay, when you click on connect, next we are going to make use of compass. Okay, compass. I say that explore, modify, and visualize your data with Mongoose DB GUI. Okay, so we are going to make use of an app called Compass and it will help us to visualize whatever you're doing inside. So let's connect using MongoDB Compass. Okay, so next click on that, and the next step is that I do not have MongoDB Compass. If you don't have it, select this one and then um, download the Compass. It's ready to install. But I have it, so I'll click on I have MongoDB Compass. Okay, and copy the connection string, then open MongoDB Compass. Okay, so let me copy this, and it says that, so let me close this one, so let me also paste it here, this connection string, right? This is what we need, so let me even paste 
that one inside my URL db here. So as a string and paste it. And it needs one more with the password that we need to connect. And that password is called done. Do you remember? Yours might be different from mine. So delete the placeholder for password and then type in done. Okay. So now that we have it, we are good to go. Let me comment this one so that I don't have an error in my console. So now let's try and then run our server. If you see that MongoDB connected, then we are good to go. So let's try. So it's node go back to back end and then slash server dot js. So let's see, it takes some couple of minutes, some seconds for it to get the response for us. Wow, we get a beautiful error. What it says, it says that bad auth authentication failed. It means that I did not use the right password, right? So inside the password, look, I used done, which is wrong. So I have to use the right password I copied here, which is that. So go to and change to instead of don't is the password. Okay, save it. Go back to our terminal. Let's run it. And I hope we get DB connected. Another beautiful error. So let's see what is wrong about bad authentication wow okay so i think our connection string is giving us an error so let's go back again and then check the connect let me copy that sorry connect let's connect to and then copy that right and then go back to application let me paste it here paste it here so i have to change the password here and there i have to copy the password i use for the this user okay and in place of the password placeholder which was here i have to paste it like so so let's try again let me clear my console and then run application and let's wait for some seconds as you see you have a good news db connected so try to make sure that you copy the, the right url and then the username and the password all right so now that we have been connected let's see the this url at the end of this url you see you have test this test will be the name of our database so we can change it to and say book keeping app okay so this is the name that we will find in mongodb collection so since we want to make use of um compass you say open compass and then you want to visualize using compass without going to here and then look at what our collections whatever that's why we are going to make use of compass here okay so and compass also need our connection string which is this so make sure you copy this one your connection string and then let's go to compass um i think where is the app itself? Okay, let me get it and open again. I think it's giving me some error. Okay, so it's loading and it will ask us to paste our connection string here. So paste your connection string here and click connect. Okay. So this one gives us the visualization of a database, what is going on using, as you see, it's loading 
and boom we are connected using our compass okay so as you can see we have two collections database that has been given to us by default so as we make we create users it will be added into this um, collection or this table here all right so guys that is how we connect our application to mongodb